guys, Megan here from Growing Up Herbal. It's midday on Monday, and I am getting ready to fill these hanging baskets, these old hanging baskets, with new perennial plants that should bloom all through fall and then over winter and bloom again all year next year, spring, summer, and fall, and hopefully beyond one year. Um, so I thought that I would video this and take you guys along and show you what I'm doing. Now, first thing I'm doing is I'm taking these old hanging baskets that used to have ferns in them and I'm gonna clean up the bottoms. I have just an old junky rag out here. I'm gonna wipe all of the dirt off the bottom. Then I'm gonna flip them upside down on this board and I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum metallic paint and primer in oil rubbed bronze just because I have this for a few little elements in our house and I have a bunch of it left over and I really don't wanna have green planters but I also don't wanna drive 45 minutes to Lowe's to buy pretty planters so I thought before I spend a bunch of money and drive all that way to buy nice planters, I'm gonna try to spray paint this green plastic and turn it into like a brownish black bronze kind of color. Um, so I have six of these here and I'm going to flip these upside down, spray the bottoms, spray the sides, and then when that's dry, I'll flip them right side up and try to get this edge, this little rim painted. And I'm gonna do that for all six of these. And then I will fill them with plants. Now, before I get plants out and tell you what I got and kind of like what my plans are. I will say that when I went to the nursery this morning, I thought that these, these hanging baskets were bigger. So I'm not sure that these are going to work for all the plants that I got. Um, I may have to put less plants in each one. I'm not sure. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try it and see and hope it works and hope they look beautiful and hope they last um, for years to come so that I didn't spend a ton of money for it to last one season and that was it. <laughs> Okay, so here are the plants that I have for the hanging baskets. You can see I have, I'll end up making three of each of the mixtures in the chair. I guess the combinations of plants that are in the chair. So let me take you up here and show you what these are. This basket, there'll be three of these with a grass in the back and then these sedum plants in the front. Let me zoom in and show you. This is called a Myrtle Euphorbia, I think. And it's a sun depart shade plant, so it should do fine where my hanging baskets are gonna go. But it is so pretty. I love the green and the pink centers. And as they grow, they kind of cascade down. And then this is a type of fountain grass. Let's see if I can find the tag. There it is. Little blue stem. And it says it's a full sun plant, but um, I'm hoping that it'll do okay in my hanging baskets because they are in a shady area of my porch But there is a good bit of sunlight there. So I would say that area is probably partial Part Sun maybe part part shade part Sun Anyway, I'm gonna keep an eye on them when I stick them in the baskets and they're hanging there I'm gonna keep an eye on them and see how they do if they don't do well, then I'll move them back here to our patio area and This area gets full Sun and I'll just hang them right underneath these lights along through here so for now, they're going on the front porch where it's shadier, but we'll see how these guys do. If they don't do well. Again, I'll move them to the back porch area or the patio area. Okay, so this one has got a type of Cora Bell. This one is called Foamy Bells, and it's a pretty greenish yellow with that red kind of burgundy color in the middle. Sorry, I have paint all over my hands. And the side of it will be this fern. This is called a painted fern regal red painted fern and that purple color goes so well with the color in the corabels i thought that was a really good combo and then this is called bugleweed this one doesn't have its tag let's see let me make sure yeah bugleweed bronze beauty so yeah this will go in the front since it's kind of low growing and it does cascade down so it should hang over the edge of the baskets and the corabels will shoot up these flower stems, which I don't know that I'm going to have a ton of room for those, so maybe they'll hang down too. I don't know. Anyway, so there'll be three baskets with this combination, if I can fit all of that into those. Um, I'm not sure because, like I said, those are smaller than I 
thought that they were. But my friend who works at the nursery said whenever she plants things in containers, she always knocks off the extra dirt and she trims out the bottom, um, or trims off, I should say, the bottom of the roots of all the plants um, so that it pushes out new growth. It stimulates the plant to, to create new root growth. And so I should, th these will be a lot smaller when they go into those baskets than they are in the little containers they're already in. So we'll see, and if I don't have enough room for all of it, then I'll rethink the baskets um, and I'll put some of this other stuff elsewhere because I have plenty of spaces around our house to put plants. So this is the plan at this point. I'm gonna get started getting everything ready to go into the containers and then I'll just kind of see how things go as I go along. Okay, so the last containers I'm doing are containers that sit right outside of the double doors or soon to be front doors of our study. And these have summer flowers in them, which you can see there's only one flower here. And then we just have a little bit of um, sweet alyssum blooming on the other one. So they're pretty much spent. So I'm gonna pull all of that old dead annuals out and I'm going to fill it with these plants. So back here, I have two mums. These are like an orangey golden color. And then I have some ornamental cabbages, which have the purple centers and the green leaves. And then I think what I'm gonna do is pull this bugle weed over here and mix with these instead of putting it with this. And that's only if this is too full in these baskets. I will pull the bugle weed out and I'll just put these two together, I think. I think just those two. Um, and then I'll use the bugle weed over here because these containers are a little bit bigger. You can see how much wider they are than those others. They're probably two to four inches bigger than the other containers. So I think they'll have more room for this stuff over here.
baskets all filled and ready to be hung up, I'm gonna move on to the containers that go beside of our French doors at our study. And I was gonna put some purple mums there, but since this ornamental cabbage has purple in the middle, I kind of want that to be the focal point. So I'm gonna do something that's contrasting and put these orange mums. Now they're tiny. I think these were $6 each. Um, so they're not blooming yet, but they're gonna look really great when they do. But I'm gonna show you, this is called Spicy Cheryl Orange. So it'll be pretty nice contrast, that orange color and that purple in the center. And then I do not remember where I got this sedum at, but I put it in this little container and it's been raining, so it's the dirt has <laughs> come up on the container. But I think I'm gonna take some of this out because I really like the texture of this and kind of fill in some spaces after I get these two main plants in. I'm gonna fill in some spaces with this sedum. And then I went to um, the garden over by the shop and I pulled up a bunch of Creeping Jenny that was creeping into the garden where I didn't want it. I normally like this stuff crawling over our rocks because it helps suppress weeds growing into the rocks. So I just pulled it up and you can see there's like little roots here and there and I'm just gonna tuck that in the nooks and crannies around um, this container and just kind of fill this out. So we've got a bunch of dark greens right here. This is kind of like a lighter shade of green. I feel like this is like a bright greenish yellow color these two the sedum and the creeping jenny so i think that this color combination will look really great together we'll see how it goes <laughs> Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching those containers come together. If you have any tips or tricks or anything that would be good to know or any YouTube videos that you've watched about how to care for containers over winter, I would love to know because I've never done it, but I'm gonna try it this year and here's hoping, uh, fingers crossed, that it works. The last thing that I'm gonna do is take all of my tags from the plants that are in those containers and put them in a little garden box that I keep where I keep um, just different tags so I know how to care for the plants and my garden journals and things like that. So I'm just gonna throw those, or these right here in that box. Um, maybe I'll put like a rubber band around them and a little note that tells me they're in the, these plants are in my containers. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Everything's hung up and watered and um, 
cool to see how it goes. I'll give you guys updates in some of my upcoming weekly vlogs. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure you click the bell so you're notified of future videos. And I will talk to you all later. Have a great week. Bye.